return to Legend of Hell House. Hmm. I love the little explanation at the beginning from Tom Corbett. Psychic consultant to European royalty. His story could well be true. Give me a break. Well, you know what I don't understand about humans? They go into a house, see a bunch of freaky things going on, get told by a disembodied voice to get out, and yet they still stick around. What's up with that? Well, they'd make it a pretty short movie if they left Grodd. Oh, I guess that explains a lot about the horror movies on Grodd's planet. What, average 60 seconds long? 30. <laughs> This movie's having kind of a bad effect on me. I almost peed my pants in that last segment. Ew, go somewhere else and do that, okay? I'll be right back. Leave a sample in the jar, please. You know, I've got a couple of questions about this movie. What the hell is the matter with Roddy McDowell? Hey, if this house has that kind of effect on chicks, why would anybody want to leave? My kind of place. And why would that science guy let them bury the body first without analyzing it? Mulder and Scully would never make that kind of mistake. Yeah, well, this movie certainly makes you think twice about ever owning a cat. Hmm. I wouldn't think once about owning a cat, miserable creatures. And they're always hiding your car keys. Meow. Wow, Simon, I didn't know you had a car. Why, I just have the keys. Speaking of cars, coming up, we've got our surprise from the Space Road Odyssey crew. <laughs> Speaking of lame. You know what time it is, kids? It's time for tonight's Star Trek connection. Oh, Lord. I don't have to mention the Planet of the Apes connection this week. No, nope. no, you don't. All right, then. Lionel Barrett, played by actor Clive Revel, was in an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation called... Cupid. He played Sir Guy of Gisborne in the Robin Hood homage episode. Oh, that's good television. Absolutely. And oh. speaking of good television, we've got some really bad television coming up with the Road Odyssey. So please stay tuned. Okay, uh, did, did I see that right? Did, did Florence just have sex with a ghost? Oh, 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 you bet she did. But that, I mean, how is that possible? What do you mean? Well, they brought us a ghost. I mean, they, do, they don't... I mean, I mean, they need... Well, yeah. How do you know what they need? Uh, oh, forget it. Okay, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to check in with Natasha Eloy and the Road Odyssey crew. Hey, Grant. I'm here at Emma's back porch in Burlington, Ontario, where... Here, the band Sci-Fi Progeny, which claims to be the most haunted band in Canada, is about to perform. Okay, so you're Patrick Cross, singer, guitarist, and leader of the most haunted band in Canada. What makes you guys so haunted? Well, everything is uh, legit. Everybody, everything is real that happens with the band. And we do have a reputation for ghosts following the band. Things have happened, ghosts, uh, all kinds of spirits show up, uh, orbs, anomalies. Uh, sounds, power failures, and even the band's instruments have gone on fire. Al, have you yourself ever experienced anything bizarre or paranormal or ghost in general? No. Never. Never, Never any hot or cold spots, nothing like that. Never. Never any hot or cold spots or any presence of something in the, the room with you? No. But you're the most haunted band in the world. You should be experiencing them. They should be following you everywhere like your entourage. Well, I don't know. I, if I experienced it, I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> the keyboard hasn't experienced anything yet. Well, the keyboard, the keyboard player is fairly new. Uh, the other keyboard player left because under uh, ghostly circumstances, he was basically playing in a performance and uh, literally had his shirt taken off his back over his head. So he was pretty spooked. We go through different members quite a bit in the stand due to the fact that our people are spooked of paranormal and ghosts. So if we get the band together right now, Bring you down here to perform. Something could possibly happen. That's correct. Well, let's jam and see what happens. All right. <laughs>
Okay, nothing happened this time, but the band has a lot more songs, so stay tuned. <laughs> this is Friday the 13th. No, 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 no that's no, fine. That's okay, fine. Okay, it's okay oh, with you. It's okay with me. So like, we fine. don't need any any more songs. Um, hey, uh, listen, if you'd like to find more about uh, Sci-Fi Prodigy, all you got to do is go to uh, www.globalserve.net backslash squiggly line sci-fi. Wow. Yeah, I hope you got that. Anyway, back to the movie, Legend of Hell House, Roddy Miguel, great stuff, hope you like it. Didn't you say at the beginning that this movie was a classic of British horror? Yeah, it was considered to be a hammer horror film after the uh, Hammer Film Company in the UK in the 60s. But the ghost just turned out to be a short guy. <laughs> Not to mention Michael Goff, better known as Alfred from the new Batman film. And this was supposed to be scary how? Let this be a lesson to you, Simon. Never piss off short people. You know, there is something of a controversy with regards to the, uh, the ending. Some people find it to be a disappointment, and other people like the fact that it's quirky and strange. And hey, if you like this movie, check out 1963's The Haunting, which many people consider to be much more terrifying than this one. Maybe we'll get it one day uh, here on the stage floor. Would you like to see Are that? Are you kidding time? me? Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Anyway, that's all the time we have for tonight. See you next time on the Space Bar. Wait.